Hey you guys, my name is Trishawn and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pass the math part of your high sec or your GED exam the first time. It took me a week. Everybody always asks me, how did you do the math? How did you pass so fast? This is what I did. For each part, I took a week to study and just focused on that one subject. I did not focus on each subject together because I felt like it was too overwhelming. So like, for example, for the math, I took an entire week and I focused on just the math. So that's how I passed. That's how I feel like I passed it. Okay, in order to solve any math equation, certain things you have to know. And majority of the equations, you have to know this. A positive times a positive equals a positive. A negative times a negative equals a positive. A negative times a positive equals a negative. A positive times a negative equals a negative. So, if you, I don't know if you want to take a picture of your screenshot and do whatever it is that you need to do, but this is what you need to know to solve most equations. So, another thing you need to know is, we learned this in, I think, middle school. Um, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Yeah, that's what it was. So, look, parentheses you saw first, exponents, multiplication or division, left to right, addition or subtraction, left or right. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So look, this is what you need to know in order to solve both equations. Okay, so I'm going to start off with exponents because I've seen a good bit of those on the exam. So I want to get you guys familiar with that. So that's what I'm doing. 3 to the 3rd. Three. Okay. This three right here is the, what we call the base. This is the actual exponent. So you have to look. Most people will look at this and think you have to solve the three times the three, which gives you nine, but that is incorrect. That is not what you do. So take a look at this. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple of seconds because we're gonna solve them together. I'm not gonna solve them by myself. Even if you get it wrong, I still want you to try it. Okay. Three to the third. Three times three times three. Get. Twenty-seven. Okay, so you see how it's going straight across? That's how you solve it. You solve the first three times three. And you get nine and then you solve the last three and you get 27 so that's how you solve it it's basically multiplying three times three times three 27 so that's what you need to know to solve an exponent that's that's how you solve it okay i thought this would go like this my baby what's that it was three times six times nine and what answer you got? Well, like, I know, wait, so 3 times 6 mm -hmm. and then times 9. So, wait, so and 9 times 327 and then 9 times 6 is 54. No, that's incorrect. A lot of people might make the same mistake, but that is not how you solve an um, equation, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try another one just since you said that. Okay. A lot of people make that same mistake, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do another one, okay? Let me get my little board off. We're solving these together. Four to the second power. Four to the second power. You guys see that? Four to the second power. And most people will look at it and say, oh, that's eight. No, do not make that mistake, you guys. Like I said, I want you to write it out. When you solve these exponents, this is the base. This is the actual exponent, the two. Base is four. This is the exponent. You write it out four times four, and you solve it like we did with other problems. 16, okay? 16. Ah. <sighs> 
All right, so you guys kind of got the hang of exponents. So let's move on to the next subject. We're about to start solving some problems. 3x equals 24. Y'all better have a pen and a piece of paper out because I am not solving these by myself. We're going to solve these together like I said. Solve this problem. 3x equals 24. Okay, you should have been assaulted by now. So, 24 over 3, I got 8. So, what I did first was 3x equals 24. Uh, you divide the 3 by itself because x is the unknown value, right? So, x is unknown. So, we don't know. Like, I don't know my x, whatever. He don't know what it's like. We don't know our x. So, we're going to try to get the x by itself because we don't want to be bothered with it. So, that's what, when you see a equation like this, you're going to get the x and let it be alone, okay? So we divide the three. We're gonna um, divide both sides of the equation by three. So three and three, just so we could get this x by itself. The three and the three is gonna cancel each other out and you're gonna be left with the x equals 24, right? And so when you see 24 over three, you divide. After you do 24 over three, you should get x equals eight, all right? So I'm gonna um, write it a little neater so you guys can see. Just in case y'all didn't like how sloppy I had it. The equation was 3x equals 24. 3x equals 24. Like I said, we're going to get the x by itself. And that's dividing it by 3. We're going to get the 3 out of here. We're gonna, it's going to cancel each other out. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side, okay? So you have to divide the 24 by 3. And once you do that, x equals 8. Show you guys again. A little needle. Boom. Like I said, you got to get your x by itself. It's your x for a reason. I like my little corny matrix. Okay. Okay, and another problem, I saw this on the exact exact. I saw this on the exact exam. On my exact exam, I mean, that's what I saw. I saw this exact problem. So remember this. And like I said, the math part is completely multiple choice. And another thing, some equations, you can solve them by plugging the answer in to see if it's correct. But I don't want to show y'all that just yet because I want y'all to get, get y'all comfortable with solving the problems first. So I can't show y'all my little cheat sheet and my little secrets. You got to wait for that. 17 divided by 0. This is undefined. Undefined. Y'all got to watch how I talk. <clears throat> but yeah, so it's undefined. You do not have an answer for this. So anything divided by a 0, you do not get it by itself. If you see an equation like this, 17 divided by 0, it is undefined. So that will be the answer in its multiple choice. Okay, you guys? And you also can use a, a calculator during the high set. Okay, I want to solve a kind of not hard problem, but. Okay. Okay, we're going to do the X equation again. Because I want to show you guys again how we're going to get our X by itself. I'm going to give you guys a chance to solve it first because y'all have to solve it with me. I can't solve all the problems by myself. I need a little help. <laughs> so 14x equals 84. Take some time and you solve it. You're allowed to use a calculator during the exam, so...
Okay. 14x equals 84. Like I said, we have to get the unknown value, which we don't know what x equals. So that's what, when I say unknown, that's what I'm talking about, the x by itself. And what you do to one side, you got to do to the other side. So you have to cancel. You have to put 14 over here. It's going to cancel it out itself out and you're going to be left with the x then over here you divide the 84 divided by 14 and you're going to get six x equals six now i do want to tell you guys this i'm gonna show you guys i was gonna keep it to myself but i'm gonna show you okay so remember x equals six all right so if you ever want to check yourself or whatever to see if the answer is right you're gonna plug it in Remember how we said x equals 6? Plug it in and see if you're right. 14 times 6 equals 84, right? So if you got a different answer, it was not correct. That's how you check yourself. For multi, most equations, you can do that. You can check to see if the answer is right. Especially if it's multiple choice, you will get the answer just like that. And I'm going to create a little cheat sheet so y'all can, you know, see it. But first, I got to make sure y'all know how to work these problems out because I'm not about to do that. And I feel like I need to do one more base problem, if y'all don't mind. I'm trying to think of one. Okay, I know I got a good one. Five to the third power. Boom. Y'all solve it. Which one is the base? Give you guys a second. Which one is the base and which one is the exponent? The big guy is the base and the exponent is at the top, right? Like I said before, this is the base right here and this is the exponent. And like like five five to the third power is like, it's like five times five times five times five. This is the right way to write it, but this is the wrong way. It's like five to the third power is five times three. No, this is not right. This is the right way to write it out. And what grade are you in, daughter? Because if I'm she could get it, you guys get it. She's in sixth grade, and she got the concept. So it ain't nothing for us to get it right. We got this. Okay. To solve this equation, five times five is 25. 25 times five is what 125 so you should have got 125 125 math is fun i love math okay so should i do another one i'm gonna do another one just in case two to the fourth power If you roll down eight, um, you better not been roll down eight. And I'm not playing. You solve it too, Jemaya. Yeah. I'm gonna solve this out because I was a little too baby. You can't see it. Y'all better be solving it too. She's in the sixth grade. And I bought her along just to, you know, kind of show you it's not no hard neck. Okay. Two to the fourth. Okay. That's the first step. Write it all out for me. What did you get? What did you get? It's two, two times four times four. Two times two times two times two times two. And what did you get? Um, solve it. Solve it. If it ain't solved, I don't want to see it. Keep solving it. Solve it. Let me know when you're ready. Two to the fourth power. I wrote it out like this, but two times two is what? Four. So you already used two of the twos. So you have one more two to use. Four times two is eight. That's the third two. Then the fourth two, 16. Eight times two is what? 
16. So that's how I came up with the answer. It's not hard, you guys. We got this. We're going to test it our first time. I got faith in y'all. Because somebody had faith in me. Show them how you solved it. Okay, cool. Good job. Sixth grade math is not hard. Okay, okay. I want to start off with a small equation that I want to show you guys what we're going to work on. Oh, I saw so many of these, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So when you see equation like this, this is called a distributive property. This is what you call because it's called distributive because you're going to hand the eight out to everybody. You're going to multiply it times everybody. When you, I need you guys to remember this. If you see a number next to a number, another number in parentheses, you have to multiply. That's your clue. That's your clue to multiply. And what I mean by that, let me show you. Four. Erase that problem. If you see a four and a three, you're gonna multiply. That means to multiply. Okay, so let's solve that problem. This one is pretty easy. It's pretty easy, you guys. I saw a lot of these. I was so happy when I got it. Three to the third power equals to four and three. Three to the third power equals to four and three. Hold on, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let me do this. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna distribute everything out. Eight times seven X equals 56 X. We bring down our little, our little Q plus sign and eight times eight equals 64. So that's what you do for these type of problems. You distribute the eight amongst every problem in the parentheses. Eight times seven is what? 56 X. Right, because you see the little QX right there, and then you drag, bring down a plus sign, and then you bring eight times eight equals sixty-four. So that is how you simplify this equation when it asks you to simplify. Because I'm like, is they asking me what are they asking me to do? They ask me to simplify. So I'm gonna. Sh this is how you simplify this equation. So you have to pay attention to certain terms when you take the exam, because that's how they try to trick you. If it says simplify, that's what you do. You simplify it, and this is it. Now, all right. 56x plus 64. So, you guys, that's all I got for today. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or problems, hit me up in the comment section, of course. Have a good day, you guys, and I'm out of here.